I'm not like a regular mom, I'm a cool mom. It's no secret that Hollywood is obsessed with youth, and this is never more obvious when it comes to casting parents. We've seen it time and again, 25-year-old teenagers with 30-year-old parents, hello the OC and Gossip Girl. But sometimes the age gap goes even further, so much so that sometimes the children are actually older than their parents. Let's take a look at some of the tiniest age gaps between on-screen parents and their <clears throat> children. That is Jenny's mom. I know. Jenny and Georgia is about a mother-daughter duo who share a bond, despite being polar opposites. In real life, they have more in common than it seems, and might be better suited to playing sisters rather than mother and child. Sure, they are supposed to only be 15 years apart, a la Gilmore Girls, but with bigger boobs. But in real life, it's a whole lot less. When the show premiered, the actress who plays Ginny, Antonia Gentry, was 24 years old, and her mom, Georgia, played by Brienne Howie, was 31. That's only seven years! Tearjerker phenomenon This Is Us is famous for the way it jumps forward and backwards in time to tell the family's epic story. Because of this, and the fact that they don't recast the older versions of the characters, the ages of the cast don't always line up, especially when it comes to Rebecca, played by Mandy Moore. When the show hit the airwaves, Moore was 32 years old, and her children, Sterling K. Brown, Chrissy Matz, and Justin Hartley, were 39, 35, and 38, respectively. Don't be shy, Becca. Drop the skincare routine. I accidentally inseminated you two weeks ago. You what? Jane the Virgin is another example of a show that features a mother and daughter who are pretty close in age. Jane's mother, Zamara, gave birth to her daughter just before her 17th birthday and was in her 40s when the show began. Even so, we were totally surprised to hear that the actress who plays her, Andrea Nevetto, is only seven years older than Jane actress Gina Rodriguez. I've been 17 years old since 1864. Anytime vampires get involved, the age of the actors who play them always gets a little interesting, which makes sense, seeing as how there aren't many 150-year-old actors working today. But even the humans can't escape the weirdness of Hollywood casting, like in this prime example from The Vampire Diaries. In the show, David Anders plays John Gilbert, Elena's father. But in real life, it turns out that Anders is only eight years older than his TV daughter, Nina Dobrev. And of course, it's not because he's immortal. Hello, brother. Damon and Stefan Salvatore have a complicated past, to say the least. But when it comes to their casting, things get even more… odd. Stefan is played by Paul Wesley, who was 27 when he was first cast in the series, and Ian Somerhalder was 31. The crazy part is their mother, played by Annie Wershing, was only 32 when the show started. That makes her six years older than Paul and only one year older than Ian. We know vampires are supposed to be young, but come on! Okay, so the 2011 sci-fi movie In Time takes place in a world where everyone stops aging at 25, so it made sense to cast a younger actress to play Justin Timberlake's mom. But we were still surprised to find out that Olivia Wilde, who got the role, is actually three years younger than Timberlake when they shot the film. During shooting, Justin was 30 and his mother, Olivia Wilde, was the ripe old age of 27. I was sure I'd have a grandchild by now. Once again, we're back at vampires. In Twilight Breaking Dawn Parts 1 and 2, we get to see Bella and Edward have their daughter. Now, it totally makes sense in the world of the movie that the 18-year-old Bella would have a teenage daughter because of the fact that the children of vampires age at an accelerated rate. Growth rate is unprecedented. But that doesn't make it look any less strange. Kristen Stewart was also only 18 when she shot Breaking Dawn Part 2, and her on-screen daughter, Mackenzie Foy, was 12. Common knowledge by now that Rachel McAdams was actually 26 when she played the teen queen Regina George in Mean Girls, all the way back in 2004. But did you know that her hilariously inappropriate mom, played by Amy Poehler, was only 33 at the time? That means that the surgically enhanced Mrs. George was only seven years older than her on-screen daughter. You girls keep me young, ugh. When the new Nancy Drew started out, 17-year-old Nancy was played by 23-year-old Kennedy McMahon. I was Nancy Drew girl detective of Horseshoe Bay. So here's a Nancy Drew mystery for you. How old was the woman who played her adoptive mom, Catherine Drew? Here's the story. On the show, we learn that Catherine was the high school guidance counselor to Nancy's birth mom, who passed away during childbirth when she was 17. Catherine took Nancy in and raised her as her own, before passing away herself years later. Catherine was played by actress Sarah Canning, who was only 32 during filming, making her what? That's right, nine years older than Nancy. 
The 20-year time jump in Outlander meant that the cast had to start incorporating wigs and makeup in order to make them appear older than they actually were, and it made for one particularly funny mother-daughter age gap. Nell Hudson, who's played Leary since the first season of Outlander, had two daughters with another man, and then married Jamie, under duress on his part, after Claire goes back to her own time. And when Claire comes back, it's safe to say Leary isn't exactly thrilled. It also means that Nell is only two years older than one of her on-screen daughters, played by Lauren Lyle. On the Netflix favorite Orange is the New Black, Elizabeth Rodriguez plays Alida Diaz, mother of Dianara Diaz. Friend of yours? No. It's, it's my mom. While Alida had Daya when she was young, they are not even close to the right ages in real life. It turns out Dasha Polanco, who plays Diaz, is not even two years younger than Elizabeth. One year and 11 months, to be exact. Alita's supposed to be in her late 40s, but was only 34 when the show started. I guess I live under a lucky star. Tim Rosen played Mutt on the first three seasons of Schitt's Creek, the son of Roland and Joycelyn and Alexis's brief love interest. When she first spotted Mutt and his mom, Alexis accidentally thought they were dating. Well, that might have actually made more sense than them being mother and son. Turns out that in real life, Jennifer Robertson is only five years older than Tim. When the show started, she was 43 and Rosen was 38. Anyways. While both Angelina Jolie and Colin Farrell might like us to forget their period epic and box office bomb Alexander, there is one detail we just can't shake. And that is the fact that Angelina Jolie was only 29 when she was cast as the then 28-year-old Farrell's mom. Yep, his mom. You birthed me in a sack of hate. She wasn't even a full 12 months older than him during the filming. There's no denying that she's an amazing actress and has always been beyond her years. But this kind of casting is exactly why cosmetics and anti-aging skincare is a $500 billion industry. In 2019's Glass, Actress Charlene Woodard plays Samuel L. Jackson's mom. I'm 88 years old in this show. It was an amazing performance, but we were totally shocked to learn that Charlene was only 64, but Jackson himself was actually 70 during filming. That means that the woman playing his mother was five years younger than him. My son was a little boy, and now he's gotten older, so am I. There's no denying that Heath Ledger was absolutely amazing as cowboy Ennis Delmar in Brokeback Mountain. The film follows Ennis and the love of his life, Jack, for almost two decades. And in that time, Ennis has a daughter, who was played by Kate Mara. Because Heath played the older and younger versions of Ennis and was aged over time with makeup, it worked out that Mara would be only four years younger than her dad when they filmed their scenes together. Even though he was only a, a couple years older, he really took me under his wing. With all of this information, it's really no surprise that our perception of age has been totally messed up by Hollywood. Angelina Jolie is Colin Farrell's mom? It makes no sense. But what do you think? Do you buy it? Even a little? We'd love to know.